everyone, I'm here. Uh, this is Nicole. I'm here with a Killikit video for the uh, Neverland merch kit. And I'm finally done with the kit and I'm just going to show you what's left. And um, I kind of boo booed on a couple things because I totally forgot about it. This, I actually went and put it directly in my stash because I was cleaning my, my desk. And uh, what I do is just before I do a Killikit video, I go on the website and see everything that was with the kit and apparently this washi was with it and I totally did not use it. So I'll use it some other time. We got some of this tape with the um, Project Life and then there was another one that went with it. And I use this on one or two pages, and this one I use it on a ton of pages, but I mean washi tape lasts forever, so. And then we got this with the Tink add-on. I got this one here, and I used it a couple of times, not as much as I should have. I forgot about it, too. And this, too, I went and put it in my stash. I took it out a few times to see if any words would work, and at the time they didn't, but I'm sure I'll use them. I use this template quite a few times on my layouts these stickers. I love the colors, but man, these stickers were annoying. Look at how messy it is. It's just all over the place. I don't know why they were so unsticky. And then these, I took them out to put on a page, and they got stuck to something, and I didn't find them till after the page was done. And then I stuck them with my stuff, and then I forgot about them. So I'll be using them in the next month, so I'll just put it with my veneer stuff. This ribbon here, I took it out I don't know how many times and I just could not use it. I used it once on one of the last layouts. These clothespins, there's, there was 12 and there's 6 left, so I got half of them used up. The Amy Tangerine um, rub-ons, I almost got them all used up. I only have a few little pieces left, so that's good. Uh, the buttons, I used quite a bit of those up. I still have a few to use, but I'll keep them out so that I can use them with this, the next month's kit. These enamel dots, I did a good job on those. All the blue ones are gone, and then about half the green ones are gone too, so I'll be keeping those out so I can use them. And then for the pattern paper, the only big sheet, and the reason is I want to keep it so I can cut out the individual cameras, but it's that Amy Tangerine uh, pattern paper. That's the biggest sheet of pa pattern paper and it's because I want to cut it apart and that's why I didn't use it. So I'll be keeping that to cut it up and then after that this right here is my biggest sheet of paper and it is two and three quarters by twelve. That's it. The rest are totally, totally scraps. And I used about, there was 26 in the kit. And I pulled in another three, like, because I always buy the add-on and more pattern paper. And I brought a few sheets like that in. And that's it. I don't even think, you know what, I'm not even going to bother putting this away. I think I'm just going to chuck it. The only thing I'm going to keep is kind of the strips that are like that because I didn't get to use these on pages but like these I got to use a lot on pages so I'm just I don't want to keep a three-quarter inch piece of paper anymore so they'll be going in the garbage right in the garbage file 13 so now to show you what I got done and I with this kit and I'm not going to spend too too much time because every single layout, I got a process video for it. So, and the way I got it on YouTube is that you can go on my YouTube channel and just look at, like this is the Neverland kit. Just look under the Neverland kit and all, or Neverland tab or, yeah, tab. And, um. All these will be in there because I have them under scrapbook process and I also have them under their individual tab. So this one was called Central Park. And then I'm going to do, before I put this in my um, in my album, I'm, I got to do three night shifts, three night shifts. I'm going to sit down and kind of 
write down or I might just take them along I don't know and then just do the journaling on a piece of scrap paper and then I'll come home and write it up write it down that's probably what I'll do because that's kind of a lot to take with me so this one was called Central Park There is a scrapbook process video on that. And this one says, look, oh, and oh, oh my gosh, it's Dopey from Snow White. And there's a scrapbook process video on that. And I got 28 pages done. And I like to do a video of, but I kind of show you all the pages for that one kit. And this one is uh, Bean Face, and it's a picture of my daughter, what they call the Bean Face. And this one says, So Happy. That's the title. And this is Fun Day with Dad. And this is a new video camera set up for me, so I don't want to bring it up too close because I don't know if it'll probably cut out most of the the page and this is called life's meltdown and if you watch the video it's it's going to be little letters that I'm going to leave for my kids um, and it's going to be tucked in behind there so that they can read it later on so this one is going to be for my son and mom cited in NYC and I'm going to have the journaling in behind and just kind of a little pocket in the back there, but there is a process video on that too. And then this one is called Life's Obstacle, and that's the other one that's for my my middle child, my youngest daughter. And I have a few more that I need to do there. And then this one here is called For the Love of Cheer. And then this one is Love My Little Hero. And this one is Baby on Board. This one is Lady M&M. And this one is called Starstruck. And it's all, you know, using a lot of the kit, but also a lot of stuff from my stash because I only had one add-on and there wasn't a lot of embellishments. So what I did was at the beginning of the month, I just took a bunch of embellishments from my stash and I pretty much stuck with that, those embellishments. And then I brought in some stamps and stuff just to, so that my pages wouldn't look all the same. Because I am getting 28 pages out of one kit and I don't want them all to be like, oh, that was all from this kit. I won't really want them to, to be different. So this one's called Shoot for the Moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among stars. And this one is just the American Museum of Natural History. And behind here, I'll put the facts about the museum. And I've been doing that with all my New York pictures. I take one goofy picture and I kind of give the history of that place that we went to. So I really like doing that. And this one is Road to Adventure. And this is, where am I? Jurassic Park. And this one is Cool Stunt Bro, Do It Again. And they're in no, in no particular order, so um, you'll have to go through the Neverland uh, videos and see where a specific one is. This one is called Prep Time. And this call is uh, this one is called my Woe Man Cave. And that's using scraps. The last few have all been using scraps. And this one is called So Scared. And then this one is Best Friends. 
And this one is Still a Boy at Heart. And this one is Stinking Hot. And this one is me and Carlos and I had a brain, I know that's Buddy, but I don't know, I did it after a night shift and I went with the name that was on the cup, so I might pull that off if I can. Oh yes I can. I'm just going to pull it off and put his name. I'll put Buddy. Yeah, no problem. I'll put that off and, and fix that. And um, this one is called Wonderful Photo Ops. And this one is called Circle Line, and that was the boat that we went on for a two-hour tour. And the last one is The City That Never Sleeps. And again, these were in no particular order. I just kind of, what I do is I store them in a Studio Calico box, the one that looks like a pizza box. And um, so I just store them until I do my Kill Kit video. And then once I'm done, then I do, I catch up on my journaling. Because I read a few years ago that your creative side and your journaling, like, the writing side of your brain is, is on different side of your brains. So when a lot of times when I do these pages, when I start scrapbooking, I'll do like four pages in a day. So I'm, it's my creative side working. So if I have to keep flipping back and forth to journaling and creative, I find it slows me down. So I just create and then I sit down and then I journal and I find it hard to start journaling at the beginning. But then by the, you know, the 10th page or whatever, it's just it's so much easier. It just kind of flows um, out of me. And sorry for all the hand movements. <laughs> it just kind of flows out of me. So I find that helps for me is I do my, all my journaling all in one sitting. So that's it. That is the Killer Kit video for the Merch Studio Calico Kit Neverland. And I had the Tink add-on. And I had the Add More Paper and More Pattern Paper. So thanks for watching. Bye.